Hello. Hello. Okay. Uh, we're doing more chess puzzles. Uh, boom. That's checkmate. Okay. Uh, we're not going to explain the process every video. If you want to see what my uh, process is. I mean, in general terms, then watch the first video. But yeah. Um, we'll basically... We're, obviously, we're still going to explain some of our processes. You know. When I feel it's relevant to do so. Okay. Um... So this one, right? Now this is a tricky one. Oh right, of course. And then rook there. Right? No. King here. Pawn here. Rook there. I'm actually struggling with this one. It's only the second one. Maybe it's take this, then go here. But that just gets me a draw. I think it's this. Okay. Um. No. I almost fell for it, but... How am I losing to the early puzzles? Clearly not, in, not quite in the zone. Um. Hmm. Okay. Oh no, yeah, that is it, right? So we take this, they take that, and then it's just a promotion. It's very important to, uh, you know, look at the entire composition of the board, because you might miss what the uh, what the deal is with the puzzle. Uh, this one, so um, what, with, what I'm pointing out right now is that there are two checks here. Um, it's probably one of those, right? So if we take this... Then the king goes there, and then we take this, and the king is once again in check. Um, and this rook can come in for the checkmate, maybe? Alternatively, we take this first, then they take that, but that seems like bad moves. Okay. Um, checkmate. So that's a check. Uh, do we have any other checks? No. Okay, so this here, then they go there, then take, then take, then take. Pretty straightforward. This is actually a fairly common uh, sort of motif in early game positions when you have a strong knight uh, that can attack their queen side like that. Okay, um... Right. So once again, we're going to look for checks. This is a check. Uh, and then they move there, and then it's checkmate. See, basically the... Uh, before I was talking about forcing moves, but another way to look at it is like... Uh, you know, the concept of checks, captures, and attacks, right? So you look for checks first, and then if there aren't any good checks, you look for captures. And then if there aren't any good captures, you look for attacks. Um, but obviously that, once again, doesn't really apply to when the things are kind of just promotion stuff. But this one is clearly uh, some kind of fork scenario, unless um, the check is better. But I don't think the check is better, because the check leads to the king going here, and then we can no longer do the fork, and we're actually uh, not really close to a checkmate, so yeah. Gotta weigh up all the options. Um, well, this seems pretty good. Actually, no. It does not seem pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm very foolish. This is another fork situation. Because I can't take with this pawn because it's pinned by the queen. Okay, um. That attacks this queen, but once again we have to look for checks first. Um. There aren't any. So, let's look for captures. That's a capture. That's a capture. That's a capture, but they all seem pretty bad, right? Um, so then we look for attacks. 
think it might be this actually. We take this because this is uh this is the only way that defends my queen from this attack. Because we need to move the queen, and if we move the queen here or here, that's obviously bad. Um, if we move it here or here, then uh, they can move the bishop here, and there's nowhere for it to go. So this is actually a defensive maneuver, um, which is another case where the checks, captures, and attacks heuristic doesn't work. Because uh, obviously, you know, if you're actually in a real game, you need to not only look at checks, captures, and attacks on your side, but on the opponent's side. You know, like they have a capture, they have a bunch of checks possible, and you want you want to obviously, uh, you know, keep those in mind when you're looking for the best move. But most puzzles are like aggressive. You know, like well, that one wasn't really. Okay, so check. And check. Those are the only checks that I see. Uh, this leads to this, which is bad. And this accomplishes absolutely nothing. So what is the answer here? There might be another defensive one where we're trying to defend this knight. Um, but it might not be at the same time. Uh... Oh, yeah, this is another check. Okay, so, yeah, I think this is the answer. Yeah, this is why uh, you always, uh, you know, take some time on these things when you're struggling. Um, okay, so I think it's this, right? So we take that, we do that, and then we move... Uh... No? Okay. Oh, yeah, it's still this, because they take this, and then, boom. This one's pretty straightforward, right? So uh, this is kind of a, a, a checkmating motif that you'll see a lot where it's like a king's in the corner, right? He's like boxed in by a bunch of pieces. So what you want to do is you want to get like a rook or a queen to have access to that file. And then you want to like make the pawn move to like reveal the attack. Uh, there's a lot of uh, cases like these in like endgame books. Doing endgame books and stuff will help with uh, puzzles because a lot of them are, are following the same kind of motifs. Um, so this is an option and this is an option. And both of them are attractive because this is uh, already like being defended by this pawn. Um, so let's see, the bishop goes here and then they respond with king to here. Then what? Yeah, so I think it has to be the the queen goes here. Queen goes here, and then the king responds by going here. And then the queen still can't really do anything. Mm. Oh, I see what it is. Okay, yeah. Bishop here reveals an attack. So yeah, I start off looking for checkmates, and then when that doesn't work, I'm looking for captures. Um, so that's a free piece, but we have to look for checkmates first. This isn't checkmate because uh, they take... Um, but if I do this, then it might be checkmate. One sec. Right, so take, 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 take. King goes here. That doesn't look like checkmate to me. But we can put the queen there, and then we... No, the rook there, and then we win the queen. No, we don't win the queen. Um, is there something with this bishop? It might just be that we're meant to take this. I'm actually struggling on this one. Oh, I think I know what it is. We take this, and then they have to take, and then we take this, because this is no longer defended. Queen here, bishop here. Okay, so yeah, the puzzles do increase in difficulty, so... um, 
I'm probably going to end up spending more time on them as it goes further. Hopefully the video isn't too long, but the fact the video is long probably means that I'm doing well. Uh, the first video, you know, I did pretty badly, but I basically just record these and then however well I do. Unless I lost in like the first couple of guesses, then uh, it's... It's all good. Um, okay, so we're looking for checks and captures. There aren't any. I mean, there are, but sorry, there, there aren't any checks. Um, this is a capture, fairly straightforward. And then they take this. They win a bishop, we win a knight. Uh, not really that great. We take this, then they're forced to take, and then we take. So it's just an order of operations thing, this one. Um, okay. Right, yeah, this is another, like, classic uh, endgame scenario, right? Where you need to know your endgames. So this is another case where uh, this king's boxed, it, boxed in on h8. We need to get rid of this pawn so that we can bring something into the file to deliver the checkmate. Um, okay. Here... Yeah, that seems like checkmate. Okay. I was worried I, I was missing something there. Uh, this is looking like checkmate, right? Yeah. Wait, oh, okay. I see. Well, you just take with the rook, right? You take with the rook, then they take the... Then... You move the knight there, and then they... <gasps> yeah, okay, that's not good. Um... Yeah, the problem is that they have both of those. Um... If, we if we put the knight there, then they take with the queen, then we take with the rook. I think that works out. Right, I need to, I need to really think about this one. Okay, so if we take immediately, then they move the rook there, and then we can actually move here, but then they get checkmate by moving the rook here, right? Well, we can move our king there, but it still doesn't look particularly good, but maybe it is fine. Um, and then the other approach, putting the knight here and letting them take this. Um, like, what's different about that order of operations? So they take the knight with the queen anyway, then we take it with the rook. Then they have to take with the bishop. And, uh, then, uh, we're not in check, so we can deliver the checkmate. So I think I'm actually right. No! I was completely wrong. God damn it. Oh well. <laughs> that was a bit of a tough one. Um, alright, well that was 13 minutes, pretty good. Oh god, I'm not meant to show that. Okay, that was, uh, look, you're seeing all my trade secrets. Whoa, look how crazy this is. Alright, um, okay, thanks for watching everybody, uh, and yeah, we'll see you next time.